So a couple weeks ago, I tweeted out that I was looking for a bandwagon team in the NCAA tournament. I realized, all right, my alma mater, Indiana, not in the NCAA tournament. I need a bandwagon to hop on. So I tweeted out my criteria. Want a team that could light up the scoreboard. Want a team that does the bench celebrations. I want a team with the likable coach, lead eight upside, eh, at least meh on defense. And so I waited for the responses to come in. I waited to watch the SEC tournament and I finally had my bandwagon team and it's Arkansas. I couldn't do Mizzou, couldn't do Florida, couldn't do Tennessee. I just don't think that they have the Elite Eight upside. Though, John Fulkerson, maybe he's gonna come back and like lead Tennessee on this run with a black eye. Why not LSU? LSU feels like the crazy relationship you have when you're young. Like, it's the relationship that makes you get into fights when you're in public that you wouldn't normally do. Like, being at a bar and watching LSU jack up these 30-footers, you're like, all right, no, I'm, I'm being a different version of myself. I can't do this. You hold on because you're like, well, it's good, it's so great, and I just, I love this. Tom Hart calling that LSU Ole Miss quarterfinal game, though, it, it just kind of put it all under perspective. Ole Miss, when they start coming back, Jarkel Joyner starts going all Marshall Henry and they say something like, what happened to LSU's defense? And I think the answer to it was, they got back to being LSU, so can't do LSU. Why not Alabama? I get that Alabama has the one NCAA tournament win in the last decade, and they're a team that, you know, would be a good bandwagon to jump on. They do have that elite upside. They have the likable coach, definitely more than Matt on defense. But Bama's just winning everything right now. And don't get it twisted. I love the team. Quinterly, so fun to watch off the bench. Shackelford, when he gets going, they are such a good team. Herb Jones, in case you haven't heard Dickie V say it enough, such a complete player. I love that they actually defend. I think Nate Oates is the real deal. I actually have Bama going to the Final Four and losing to Gonzaga. But also, it's, it's the thing that's sort of tough to stomach as a fan, which is they play in all these close games. Seven of the last 11 were decided by 10 points or less. That's their identity. They're okay with that, but that's a grind for March. Arkansas, however, or 16 of their 22 wins on the season came by double figures. I love the Justin Smith thing. Shout out to our hometown, Buffalo Grove, Illinois. Shout out to our previous school, Indiana University. Moody, great when he recognizes that he just has to take over in a game. I actually like that kind of less people are gonna be high on Arkansas because they didn't win the SEC championship and they're not going into the NCAA tournament with all this momentum. I, however, am all aboard the must bus. I'm ready for it. I'm probably not gonna live tweet during games, but you never know. We're gonna see how, how all in I go with this. I've got Arkansas going to the Elite Eight, but if they go to a Final Four, I'd be pretty happy because I jumped all aboard the must bus.